Hey guys, good morning. Look at what I've got going on here. This is survival mode, Lego Fortnite. Uh, a while ago, I had another village that I'd actually built. It's already a level 10, uh, way off over here. Um, but it was way too far away from the desert and the uh, snow area. Um, it was a long travel to get between them. So I decided to start another village uh, in this area. You notice how close the two or the three biomes are to each other. Um, this is my new village here. I just built one giant house. I'm still working on it. Uh, still have crafting and stuff I gotta do. I think it's like a level six or seven right now. Anyways, the main point is, is that when I came back in after the update, my sled for my monorail had broken. And you'll notice the monorail has a nice turn to it so I can navigate around all these mountains. Um, so I'm gonna show you how I built my new sled. Uh, a lot of people seem to have an interest in my last video. On down here. Uh, I will caveat that sometimes when doing this build, the first time going through the build, it will break on you. Uh, but this is something that you need to set down to set this at the right height, or your wheels won't uh, go on to the uh, pieces correctly. So let's go ahead. I build these nice pieces out to the side to give some width to this, because we're going to want to put wheels on the side of this to help hold it on the track. Uh, along with that, let's build the wheels out straight. And here, I'll start on the corner, and then I'll count back five or six, so that it gives space for me to jump on later on. And, because of that hitbox, if you don't build it back far enough, it will get in the way of building your uh, rocket thrusters later on. You'll see when I stand right here. Uh, see, it won't let me on because of the wheels. I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible in survival mode, so apologies if there's a lot of umming. And if I miss any any uh, details and steps. All right, that actually settled correctly. That's good. Uh, so under here, I'm going to, you can see it's now sitting on its own wheels. I can actually push that right now, but it would fall off the track because I don't have wheels on the side. So we'll put a little fence thing on the side here. And the same thing on the other side. That will give you the extra space needed for the track, because if you build it right there, it'll touch the track, and that often causes problems when you're trying to make turns. So I give a little bit of space. Perfect. All right, other side. All right, and then... One of the problems that I ran into in the past was when I put this right up against it. When we would run into the turns, it would actually bang into this uh, pillar that I'm building. So I'm going to make sure that it's one more space back so that the wheels have additional space for those turns. Four of those, and we'll put a wheel on this side. Make sure it is in the right spot there. So you'll see there's a tiny bit of gap. That's good. You notice the spacing. That's on purpose. Um, this will allow the wheels to ensure that you don't accidentally flip over. Also helps when the track is going up and down. On this particular track, I do not have an up and down happening, but I do have left and right. And sometimes a little bit of instability causes it to uh, try to fall left or right. So having it built like this will ensure that it stays on the track. And you notice I have these little pillars along the track. And there's plenty of space between the wheels so they won't run into them. Those pillars are in case if part of this track breaks. Uh, because sometimes when the wheels bump into the track, um, it'll break that granite. Uh, so having those pillars at different points along the way ensure that it won't completely collapse if one piece uh, breaks in the middle. 
So now comes the fun part of putting on our booster off the back here. And put on our switch. Uh, the other thing I like to do is build a couple of storage things here so that uh, you can build four of them on here. I'm just going to build two. Uh, one on this side and one on that side because these guys provide tons of extra storage. They're the larger ones. And you'll see... Oh. Here we go. And you notice a nice smooth sounding run on this one because the stuff isn't banging into those pillars anymore. You can go at full speed around these turns. I've not run any issues yet. And to make these turns, that's part of the crash is a little broken there. I'll have to come back and fix that. Series out. So to build these tracks, I space the single. Space these guys. Uh, one, two, or three spaces over when I use the uh, nudging uh, for the turn areas, and then for the straights, I use the larger pieces here. Uh, for full circle turns, you're going to have to get a little creative with the um, way that you way that you build as you're making those turns. I would not suggest making hard turns. You notice I only do one soft turn as I come along. heading along pretty quickly here. My, my other house is about halfway there. Fun noises and glitches with the uh, Fortnite. Hoping eventually they fix all the little glitches and this will be even smoother. And maybe they'll provide some angle pieces to help smooth out this track a little more and make it look uh, more like a track. Uh, for the really hard turns, those uh, four spaces, I added in an additional 2x2 uh, two two square so that I have a wide enough track and don't end up falling off. You'll see that back there. I'm almost to the other house. The other village. And you can see my level 10 village right there. That's fun. So my floating fortress, I just saw something fall off of it during this video. I hope that uh, everything's still up there. That also helps because I'll park that thing over top of a... Uh, a little too far. That's okay. I can always push it back. I put these little stoppers at the end as well so I don't accidentally fall off the edge. There. See, it settles right in there. And we're set. And at my... Other Welcome to my humble abode. Uh, all the fun space inside of here. I don't bother doing the pre-built. I uh, just build a giant uh, house so that I can keep all of my storage and all of my uh, equipment, my creative stuff, um, in the same space. Makes it real easy for crafting and getting around. Um, Alright, I hope you enjoy the video. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, put them in the comments. Uh, like and follow. You know all that fun stuff. Uh, See you guys later.